Mike Yanni, he's at the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. If you love technology and you follow what's happening in the world of gadgets, you know what's going on in Vegas. The Consumer Electronics Show kicks off tomorrow. Our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, already on the show floor, getting his hands on some of the gadgets that we're going to see hit the market later this year. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Ted. Yeah, you know what? Like you said, if you are into technology, all eyes are on Vegas this week, the Consumer Electronics Show. So this is kind of still setup day. The show floor opens tomorrow, but you can see the booths are kind of disarray here. Uh, electricians are still coming in. The ladders are still going up. 1,200 carpet layers are going to be here later this morning to get the show floor ready. Big buzzwords this year, 4K TV. We're talking four times the resolution of HD TV. Okay, that's not new, but what is new this could be the year it actually becomes affordable so people can afford it. And you know what, Ted? You and I get ready in the morning for uh, HD. It takes a little bit more makeup. Well, imagine four times the resolution of oh, HD. Oh, no. It's more work for people like us. <laughs> oh, no, is right. <laughs> That smart uh, smart homes, also big connected devices, and I'll get to that in a moment. And also wearable technology. We've seen wearable technology, sure, for the last couple of years, but it's not really comfortable. This year could be the turnaround point, and that's my first gadget I want to show you. This guy right here. Okay, Ted. So this is a wireless heart rate monitor. It's made of silicone, so it's flexible, and then you peel off the back, and it's just like a band-aid. You stick it, and you forget about it. It's waterproof. The adhesive lasts about seven days, and this device lasts about three years. And this talks wirelessly to your smartphone. So imagine if you are an athlete, or even if you have a bad heart and you just need to monitor your heart continuously, you put it on, you stick it on there, you forget about it. It's wireless. I think that's pretty cool. It's called Amstrip, and it's going to be available later this year, about $150. I, I, I like that. It's finally wearable technology that you're going to forget you even have it on. Okay, this guy. I get a little nervous when I'm uh, what I'm about to do, and you'll see why. Why is there so much buzz about electrical socket here at CES? You'll see why. Watch this. Just to prove I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes, I'm going to plug in this light. So there's juice flowing through the socket, right? I've proven that. But watch what I can do. Wire. Here we go. What? Zzz. No, I'm kidding. Look at that. You can stick a piece of wire. You can stick a paper clip in there. Imagine the safety in your home. This is called Brio. You don't have to worry about those ugly socket covers. They're, they're kind of clumsy sometimes. They're hard to get out. Um, it can sense the difference between a human and a piece of electrical hardware, and so you won't get any zaps. $40 is going to hit the market later this year. I like that, and I think a lot of parents are going to like that too. You don't even have to think about you know, baby-proofing things like that. It's just built right in. That's pretty cool. Now, you might have noticed I'm wearing a little bit of bling this morning. This guy is called Ring. The idea is the connected home, one ring to control it all. I can walk into my house, Ted. Imagine this. Walk in, it's dark. I can do a motion gesture in the air. This guy talks to a hub in my house, and it'll control devices. So the lights will go on if I make a certain gesture. Or maybe I want to flop down in the morning and watch BT on TV. I can, in the air, make a B. BT, the television is going to turn on. I can do the volume up, volume down, all different motions. You can actually program a whole bunch of different gestures into the ring itself. Now you'll notice, yeah, it's maybe not the prettiest, it's maybe a little bit bulky, it's a little bit thick. This is a prototype, so they are making it thinner. They're trying to find a way to make it thinner, I should say, um, and lighter and things like that. So there's definitely potential here, but the thing is you never know what's going to take off to see us. Some of the craziest devices could be the next big thing, um, <laughs> and you never know. Maybe the ring is going to be it. I, I got a question for you, Mike. What about a uh, toe ring for that? Because you know Andrew Schultz will want that for his house. <laughs> You know what? I don't know how big Andy's toe is, but uh, that might fit. <laughs> that might fit. That might work. That might work. All right. Good stuff. Thank you, Mike. Good to Mike Yanni live from Las Vegas. The 2015 Consumer Electronics Show starts tomorrow, but our gadget guy, he talked his way into getting some gadgets a day early just to bring for you and I. There you go.